So we, we want to see this as part of um, supporting our towns across the district. So this is important not just for Marriott's Walk, for the whole of Whitney Town Centre, makes it an important regional shopping destination, I think. And at a time like this, our businesses need all the support they can get. And we're really determined to make sure that this is going to be transformational for Whitney. We've got a real mix here at Marriott's, as we have across the town, as we have across the district, of all the major retailers, but also independent shops and local uh, businesses. And it's a fantastic mix. We've also got uh, hospitality venues, cafes, uh, bars, as well as um, some of the bigger stores like Marks and Spencers at the other end. We're determined to sort of build on that ecosystem. We'd also love to see some more outdoor events here as, as the days get warmer and it gets lighter and brighter. It'd be great to have people People trading outside but also events, little uh, more planting, make it a really lovely part of the town. The future for Marriott's Wharf Shopping Centre we hope is a very bright one, particularly with the prospect of a new um, change in ownership. We're looking at uh, certainly attracting more businesses to Marriott's Walk. It's a very successful centre at the moment, but we're hoping with more businesses, particularly local businesses, that, that the centre will grow to be even more successful than it currently is. So it was an opportunity that came up uh, to really inject some energy and some vitality into the town centre at a really difficult time for retailers. So it's, it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, we're really keen to get behind our local businesses and that's what this council is determined to do. We want to support the local economy and businesses. This positive change will really invigorate our town centre and really make sure that we can shop here, we can uh, support our local businesses to really thrive. We're certainly forward thinking and we're certainly with the people of West Oxfordshire and I think really we've got a really bright future.